hello. So, got a little update. So today was the first day where I started taking my, called the stimulation medication, which is a bunch of different medications that I have to take at certain times so I can prepare for the egg retrieval. I have no idea what exactly all the medicines do, but I'm supposed to take them at certain times and they tell me how much to take. And, and so I have to go in for blood draws like pretty frequently now just so they can monitor how much medicine I need to take um, and kind of change my dosages depending on what the blood work shows. So the first medicine I took this morning is called Menopure and it's an injection and it was a little overwhelming because I never had to take injections I never had to prepare injections or mix any medications so I can do that Fortunately, I have someone who's really good at that. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> so, he was really helpful. Um, and then I have to take another medicine tonight before I go to bed. I don't remember what that one's called. But anyway. So, I'll show you guys the calendar of events that will show what we need to do for the next few weeks. So this is today, the stim start, and then we just keep on the medicine, and then I have to go in for a blood draw on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and then based on whatever this says, that's the day they'll pick one of these days to do the retrieval. <sighs> so... I guess that means that we just gotta take it one day at a time. It's kind of overwhelming because all of this medicine costs like more than one of my paychecks. More than actually two of my paychecks. <laughs> so it's like, it's a lot of money and it's a lot of stuff and a lot of things that I don't want to mess up because it's so expensive and yeah, it's yeah, it's quite expensive. Mm -hmm. So I'm just getting ready for bed, and I guess I wanted to talk about some things I've been thinking about lately. I've um, been listening to this book, and it's about how to focus your life and how to you know, pick the things that you really want to care about and put your energy towards those things and, you know, not put your energy towards things that are going to be wasteful or not important. And it talks a lot about entitlement and making sure that you aren't being entitled and that you're not being destructive to other people and, you know, things like that. And there's a couple of things in there that kind of made me sit and think and kind of reflect about some things that are going on in our life. And one of the things that the author was talking about was, like, it's okay for things to not be okay. Like, we don't have to always pretend like everything's good and use this kind of false positivity because it's basically he was saying that false positivity is a way to put off problems and it's it's not a healthy thing and don't misunderstand what I'm saying that you know being positive is bad or but there's just sometimes when people use it as a mechanism to avoid the real problems and so I'm not I don't want this to be construed as a, you know, I'm complaining or venting or whatever, but, you know, there's, there's some real problems, like, right now in our life, and I don't want to diminish them, and I don't want to magnify them either, just kind of want to lay them out on the table, so, I mean, obviously we have the fertility issues, and then the financial issues that go along with it, and 
those things have been really hard and overwhelming and I think it's one of the reasons why I haven't wanted to get out the video camera very much is because I don't want to talk about those things or think about them um, and I guess I want to not do that I want to try and be as objective about our problems as possible and try and get in trying to be more realistic and honest and so anyway I just kinda what I was thinking about um, so before this gets drawn on too long we I'm sure this could go on forever if I let it. Um, so I just take my next medicine before I go to bed, and I guess I wanted to show you guys that because I don't know what I'm doing, and maybe some of you do know what you're doing and can help. I don't know. <laughs> so I just finished my first day of injections, and I mean, it wasn't really that bad. It's just kind of tedious. Got to make sure everything's right. Doesn't mean it's just it's still a shot. It still stings and pinches a little bit, but it's not that bad. Now Talon has to take his shot too. So I guess it's going to become one of our nightly rituals. Shooting each other up. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, that's that's today. So I guess we'll see you guys later this week. I got to go back to the doctor on Tuesday and Thursday. And then a couple more times. I don't remember exactly. But anyway, we'll see you guys later.